What if you could turn your rough business idea into a professional high converting landing page? In this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple yet effective technique that is going to give you 10x better results when you're working with wipe coding tools like Lovable. If you just type create a landing page for my SaaS, you're obviously going to get pretty basic results because you're not investing enough time in planning, which is what is required when you're working with large language models. Now, what if I tell you that users simply have to answer five strategic questions, plug those answers into a proven framework and you generate complete, beautiful looking high converting landing pages with just a single prompt. So I've analyzed prompts, landing pages, then copywriting guides, and I've tried to compress all of those techniques, all of those principles into one meta prompt. And this is going to be one comprehensive prompt that has everything, psychological triggers, visual design principles, conversion rate optimization techniques, and it'll give you complete landing pages. So let me walk you through my exact process step by step. All right, so this is the prompting guide that I have captured here for you. And I ask you to answer five questions. And these five questions essentially want you to spend more time planning because whenever you're working with these vibe coding tools, Lovable or any other tool for that matter, you have to spend more time planning the application, the software, or in this case, landing pages, essentially what you want uh, your users, your viewers to look for, and what sort of KPIs are you optimizing for? And for landing pages, conversion rates are the most important metric that everybody wants to look at. And yes, they should be visually appealing. So I have tried to capture that planning phase in this guide. And I ask you to answer these five questions. First of all, what your business is all about. So when I said rough business idea, basically I'm looking for that brain dump that is going through your head, like however you want to like explain your business, what you're doing. So in this case, you have to answer these questions. What you're building, who is it for, what problem it solves, what makes it special. And then this is like one such example here. I'm building cloud cost, a SaaS tool that helps developers monitor their AWS infrastructure and reduce costs. It connects to your AWS account, basically the complete description of your business. This is like a brain dump. Similarly, the second question, who is your dream customer? So target persona, target audience. So who they are, their pain point, biggest frustration, and what success looks like for them. You answer these questions and this is what is like going to generate a really, really good high converting landing page so that your viewers, your audience can directly relate to what you are offering. Okay. So ideal customer persona, this is what you'll describe here. Then visual inspiration. You might say that, okay, I like this particular website. I like Stripe's website. I like Notion's website. I want to capture, I want to basically create my web page just like Notion. So you can provide those links. You can try to specify what you like about them, what type of uh, element you want to draw from that reference website. So in this case, linear.app, the dark mode option and smooth animation. So you can fetch those specific elements and uh, you know capture the strengths of your reference websites and do it, that visual inspiration is going to be captured in the prompt that this meta prompt is going to generate for you. I'll show you how to capture this. You'll see that I have done this already for five or six examples here where I've tried to capture the business description, ideal customer and pain point, visual inspiration, proof and credibility. This is optional. If you have that like uh, testimonials and things like that, you can add those details if you have some data metrics to show and uh, some customizations that you might want to add on top of the landing page. So all of those things uh, can be captured in this particular phase. So this is what your uh, planning phase is going to look like. After that, I have this prompt generation requirement. This is the main meta prompt that is going to help us 
with the final lovable ready prompt so here if you see i've tried to get this is the one where i've tried to capture everything so transform the business description into a compelling headline using the formula how to achieve so and so so this is basically trying to capture your entire business idea okay and you can further like nail it as per the framing as per the phrase that you want in your hero section you can change this and then three distinct value propositions with specific numbers 12 complete landing page sections so all of these are currently uh, placeholders like this these numbers are placeholders but the content that you are going to get that is not going to be placeholder that is what i have described here and you can change this as per your use cases extract visual design system from inspiration sites then we have ui ux design principles that i have described here apply these conversion optimization principles include psychological triggers so this these are all for conversion rate optimizations so if you see hero section should have dual cta's high and low commitment value proposition visible in five seconds social proof within first crawl three field maximum forms f pattern layout for scannability then benefits over features all of these are trying to capture the copywriting principles the conversion rate optimization techniques then some psychological triggers and then finally technical specification to nail the visual appeal of that website uh, how the animations should be created uh, the kind of images that should be used for images you'll obviously have to have some interaction you'll probably then uh, work on every single section if you want to add some images on top of it this meta prompt does not cover uh, images but if you want let's say a dark theme like replet or dark theme like lovable to be captured within your tool you can provide those screenshots to chat gpt or any other large language model and it'll capture it in that prompt so let's run it for one of the use cases here i have my ai agency for example agentivize so i can build this for my business okay currently my website if i show you it looks like this agentivize.com so this is uh, again this is built on framer now let me see uh, what i can generate obviously this is like uh, currently uh, it has a lot of scope for improvement and if i want to develop a website a landing page then how would i go about doing that so first of all i have my claude uh, open up i'm using claude to generate that final prompt for myself okay so let's say i am building agent device an ai agency okay and i am planning to focus on let's say customer support so i've added a brief description this is an example description for my ai agency okay i am going to add the business description first then copy the customer pain point that we are trying to solve with custom ai solutions then these are some reference websites anthropic.com demonstration scale.ai openai.com so some of these reference websites i have provided here so with proof and credibility i have added these okay this is done now obviously these are like dummy numbers we are not there yet but let's see okay i've captured all of these details uh, i've not added any special sauce right now i am now going to paste the meta prompt so from my guide here by the way you can get this guide from the description i'll add the link to my notion document this is the prompt that i've captured so you can see prompt generation requirement based on the information provided above generate a comprehensive so i'll pass it on to claude now claude is going to generate that lovable ready prompt for me so it has started to generate the prompt for us and while we are getting the prompt let's 
try to run it for one other example okay i have terra and loom uh, an e-commerce website okay so i am let's say building terra and loom so terra and loom copy business description comes here then we have customer pain point this is for an e-commerce website then we have visual okay some examples from here proof and credibility let's add that here some special sauce okay this is great now after that the final meta prompt copy this to generate our prompt using claude so this one is going to generate for terra and loom and similarly i've captured it for a bunch of other examples we have tried to create these as well so i can like walk you through them as well okay so my prompt is ready for agenda wise let's see let's try to capture this prompt let's business context let's try to fetch this the reason i'm copying it this way i think there might be some redundant things at the bottom okay yeah i need the prompt till here that's it now all i need to do is paste that entire prompt in lovable the prompt that i've got from claude and similarly you can you might have got it from you know your large language model application or whatever you're using and here i have selected gpt5 it is available <laughs> for the next few hours for free on lovable and i'll hit enter now it's going to take five minutes or so it's going to spin up my landing page for me and while it is doing that let us create another landing page for terra and loom i'll copy this prompt as well yeah copy this and paste it here gbt5 hit run all right so now i've got two websites two landing pages being generated let's see let's wait for the results and then we'll see it's going to take some time to spin up these landing pages for us all right so we have the results with us has the first website terra and loom and uh, this one uh, is very earthy looking you have some images uh, which are ai generated and we have captured all of these details and it has like very beige and uh, you know uh, i think i can see that these are like earthy vibes and all the example the reference websites that we also provided had similar colors and tones so if i open it up in a new tab you can see the website now and to me it looks pretty good like it's it's premium and the colors and tones everything seems pretty good okay and i can see okay there's a carousel that has been implemented uh all of these obviously are in page links uh that's something that you have to work with lovable you have to like specify those details but this is this is a pretty good uh website one shot and you get this <laughs> this is like really really good how to create a pinterest worthy home without the designer price tag or ethical guilt now i can see that the meta prompt that i have provided needs to be you know created and like slightly customized for your use case for your niche not everybody would want this how to formula that i have described here this one is terra and loom if i look at my website let's say the ai agency website this is uh, what we have opening it up in a new tab and i see uh, okay this is like an issue uh, i should have like contrasting colors uh, the readability is hampered a little bit the tagline etc colors fine i think it's 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 basic uh from what i can see but the sections i like the calculator that they have added uh input average salary and then you know you have a custom roi calculator 
based on the automation solutions that we provide this is five hundred dollars like how much you are saving simple transparent pricing no surprises okay resources some faq sections at the end and this section is all good uh join 150 plus uh operations leaders okay so this one i would rate somewhere around 7.5 8 out of 10 uh not that good uh i think 7 7 out of 10 but this one is is pretty good this one has given us like really really good results and i would like you to like try it out with your businesses i think it does really really well on these types of use cases with agencies i would probably have to like iterate with a few more uh, details but the meta prompt will give you really really good results another thing that you can do with this meta prompt if you think that you know you have not been able to find the right reference websites or there are like some problems like this one where i could not find any good reference websites for myself like anthropic open ai all of those were like you know uh, ai tools so one thing that i can go do is i go on to lovable.dev and obviously they have a bunch of these web pages here so you can have like websites or personal some apps that people have created like portfolio websites and internal tools so you can discover a bunch of these click on remix turn this website for my business called agent device which is an ai agency and then you can continue to describe your entire business from pain point all of those things and it's going to turn this particular landing page uh, for my business obviously this is not the right uh, fit but uh, you can find those uh, uh, example portfolios from lovable's library and then if you find something some good examples then you can turn them in this particular manner using the same meta prompt that i have provided to you and then once you have reached this stage then after this you will have to specify you might want to like nail every single section so all you have to do is you know uh, fix those details you might want to change those images so images are to be provided here you can very easily drag and drop images and and build on top of that in the next few videos i'm going to cover like many different use cases you're uh, using figma how to build fully functional applications by adding super base you know adding their labs feature and and many other things so stay tuned this is the first one which allows you to build landing pages you know and get off to a really really good start with just a single prompt uh, the next few videos are going to help you build fully functional web applications for your business ideas so i hope you enjoyed this one so every single resource that i've shared in this video you'll be able to find it in the description below and if you want to try out lovable the link again is in the description click on it you'll get five free credits for this month to try this out that's it i'll see you guys in the next one